All right, Shalom. Giving on praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the hope for elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, I want to start with the scripture here in 2nd Ezra's ninth ninth chapter. And I'll start at the top. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So in these times that we're living in today, we're supposed to be measuring them based upon the signs written about in the scriptures or right, in the Holy Bible. Because unlike any other philosophy or religion or any other uh, ideology, uh, when it comes down to the Bible, it is the only true and living book whose words in the book play themselves out uh, in reality. Okay. Um, so by saying that, these are the things that we should understand that the Heavenly Father uh, is going to begin to visit the world, which he's going to send his son back ultimately to make the final judgment. OK. And the fact that we're seeing, for example, when you read Matthew, the 24th chapter, we see the uh, the uh, wars. Right. We're seeing that now dealing with this uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine. All right. That's a war. OK. All right. Um, we are seeing the, uh, the the famines. OK. In diverse places, you know, dealing with the fact that uh, there's food shortages in, in these farms all around the world. Uh, the Middle East, Europe. OK. Uh, the, the Ukraine uh, can't e export grain, which produces a lot of the wheat. Which goes into the bread production that a lot of the world consumes, okay. Um, you know, these are just examples of the things that was written in the scriptures as signs, and they're manifesting themselves in twenty twenty two, okay. So now I'm gonna continue reading. It says, and this is the point. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and uproars of the people in the world. Okay, so now we have to pay attention to these major earthquakes that are happening and the different uproars and, and riots and protests of the people that are happening all around the earth. We have to pay attention to that. Okay, and that's what I'm going to get into today. All right, I'm going to continue reading. It says, then shalt thou well understand. So as I put these articles up, then you should have a well good understanding. Right. It says that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. OK, so you should well understand that these things in this book, on this phone that's written down and we can read. These are the true words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, who the world entering calls God and Jesus Christ. These are the words that were set forth from the beginning. There's no coincidences. There is no big bang. The Lord set these words uh, uh, in the hearts of the prophets to speak, and we have them today. So now, dealing with these articles, let's get this earthquake first, right? This is from the Washington Post. Uh, it says, five dead, dozens injured at seven, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake hits Philippines. And I checked all the other earthquake alerts that I had. And every single one, over 15, 16 different alerts, showed that this was uh, uh, the most major earthquake happening in the world today, right now, in the news. It's being talked about from the big platforms to the small local platforms to the online websites. Okay? This was a major earthquake. In the Philippines, it says, uh, now this is from Manila. It says a major earthquake struck the northern Philippines on Wednesday, on Wednesday morning, killing five, injuring dozens, and damaging more than 100 buildings across the region. All right? So that's a major earthquake. 
the 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the province of Abra at 8.43 a.m. local time, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, which originally had listed the earthquake's magnitude at 7.3. The U.S. Geological Survey listed its depth at 10 kilometers or 6 miles. Five people were killed and 131 injured, according to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. Landslides and power interruptions were reported across the northern island of Luzon. About 15 cities and 280 towns felt the quake, and several roads were rendered impassable. All right? So once again, this is a major earthquake, all right? And who knows the, the different numbers that are going to increase over the next uh, few days, okay? We understand how the media works. They like to suppress numbers and, and, and embellish or, or underwrite certain things, okay? But at the end of the day, this is letting you know that Yahweh Bashmi Shai is visiting the earth, okay? Now, let's go into the uproars of the people, all right? Now, this here... Uh, Let's see. I may have got this one already. This is in May. Okay. Let's get something more recent. Let's go here. Let's go to... Because uh, that was, what, July 28th. So this is this is uh, from the New York Times. Anti-UN protests in Congo leave 15 dead, including three peacekeepers. Demonstrators have accused international forces of failing to deter armed groups responsible for a wave of deadly attacks. So they've been protesting in the Congo, right? This is from July 27, 2022. And you have these groups that are coming in and just slaughtering them, okay? It says the Democratic Republic of Congo, at least 15 people, including three UN peacekeepers, have been killed and 60 others injured in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo in an escalation of days-long protests against the United Nations. The people are protesting against the United Nations themselves. Upwards of the people, right? The other scripture in uh, Second Ezra, right, in the 15th chapter, says that there's going to be uh, a sedition among men. Okay, so to where you have these different people coming against their their uh, lawmakers, okay, the powers that be. All right, so it says in an escalation of days long protests against the United Nations in the mineral rich region that has been ravaged by incessant deadly violence. Protesters have been demanding the departure of the peacekeeping forces, accusing them of failing to protect civilians from a recent surge of attacks by the militant groups that have terrorized the region for years, leaving hundreds dead or injured and forcing more than 160,000 people to flee their homes this year alone. Okay? Uh, it tapers off here. Several government officials and a youth group allied with the ruling party have in recent weeks stoked anger at the UN forces. So Esau's system is collapsing because this this United Nations, all of that is a is a part of Esau's rulership. All right. His system of government that he put in place to what these other heathen nations cleave on to. All right, but they're seeing it fail in their countries and on their continents. Okay? All right. On top of the natural disasters that the Lord is bringing. Now, let's go to another one. Um, let's go. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. All right. This is from Al Jazeera. Right. It says Ara Iraqi protesters stormed the parliament in Baghdad's green zone. Right. An another one from July 27th. Hundreds of the demonstrators, mostly supporters of Iraqi Shia leader, uh, Muqtada al-Sadir break into the heavily fortified green zone in protest at a rival bloc's nomination for prime minister. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It says no lawmakers were present in parliament when the protesters penetrated the capital's high security green zone, home to government buildings and diplomatic missions on Wednesday. And and look at this, man. I'm, you know, I'm going to say it, but you can clearly see 
that all these things are are part of the uh the uh, uh, uh um behind the scenes movements of um those in the shadows, all right? The elites of Esau are setting these things up. First, here in America, you have it to where these protesters stormed the, the, the capital, all right? The leaders were in there, but they had to flee, I believe, okay? Uh, they got into uh, the speaker of the house's office, kicked their feet up. Then you hear about the situation in uh, Sri Lanka. They stormed their governmental offices, but nobody was there. And now here in Iraq, it's the same thing. It's the same tactics, okay? It's the same tactics, but they're not going to put these these things on the news, all right? Or they're going to put it in the midst of other news surrounding it to where you can't really connect the dots, okay? But those in the know, you hey, just like the saying goes, if you know, you know, okay? All right, all these things are, uh, you know, uh, set up, okay? So they're protesting, but it's all leading to the prophecies of the Lord, okay? Now, here we go. This is an update, uh, DW.com. Uh, Sri Lanka extends state of emergency for a month, okay? And this is in Sri Lanka, Uh, despite objections by opposition lawmakers, Sri Lanka's parliament on Wednesday extended the country's state of emergency for a month. Lawmakers voted 120 to 63 in favor of the extension. The state of emergency was declared as President Godabaya Rajapaksa fled the country earlier this month after mass unrest over the island nation's economic crisis. His successor, acting President Ranil W made the emergency decree to help stabilize the situation. Okay, uh, so these people had stormed their governmental uh, um, building, their parliament, all right, and got in the offices and were protesting and hanging out in the pool, all right. Um, like I said, it's all put together, okay by the powers that be behind the scenes. But like I said, it all plays into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai having his prophecies come to pass. Esau, you don't control what's going on. The Lord does. So now I'm going to continue reading in the scriptures. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So this is part of the ending of this society, man. Okay. Now, do these people feel the, the, uh, the uh, uh, pressure from the government? Yeah, they do. But, but, you know, for them to have access to these places without security or police stopping them or you know you would think with what happened in america these countries around the world would put up some kind of uh proper security from that happening in their country but hey you know that's another topic for another video but once again you're seeing the prophecies manifest themselves the protests all right these people storming their parliaments coming against their governments demanding change and then you have these major earthquakes all right that are happening around the world you know so with that i'm in it there i hope this is edifying all praise and glory and honor is going to yahweh by shimmy al shai by shimmer kakwadash double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone shalom